Hi everyone, today I'm reviewing Naked Skin Self Tan. This is this tinted tan mousse in the shade Dark, and this Naked Skin is by Vita Liberata. I ended up giving this one 2.5 out of 5 stars, so in my opinion it was very average, there was nothing really that stood out about it. Um, I got it at Ulta for $19.50, and it comes in a 3.38 ounce bottle. So that works out to about seven, I'm sorry, $5.77 an ounce, which is pretty average, slightly above average, but nothing crazy at all. This one comes out as a mousse, and it has a really dark, like almost black guide, and it's very bubbly and thin. So that made the product kind of a pain to apply, um, but there's a really dark guide in it, so you need to be careful when applying it because it can get messy and stain everything. This one, it. So the weird thing about Vita Librata is they do a good job because their products literally smell like nothing. They use an odor remove technology and some other companies claim to do the same and I could still smell something but this one is really crazy because you can't really smell anything. Um, going on it doesn't really smell like anything at all. As it developed I still couldn't smell any DHA. The next morning I smelled a hint of DHA but it was nothing crazy, nothing too bad at all. So it does a really good job at covering up that DHA smell and it doesn't really smell like anything at all. So putting it on is super messy. The, the mousse is thinner than most, so when I was applying it to my legs, it started running and dripping down my legs. That caused some like lines in my tan because it has a dark guide. They actually provide you a small little tanning mitt to apply it with. You can see I used it. Um, which I like the idea of doing that and it's really nice of them, but this is so tiny I tried to use it and I gave up after a few minutes because it's really hard to apply with a mitt this small. I ended up just using a regular size mitt and that worked a lot better. Um, but it, I mean, it's a nice gesture they give out with, with it. Um, so you just, this one's really messy to apply. It drips, it, it stained my towels, which is a big no-no in my book. Um, the drying time. So most mousses dry relatively fast. This one took 20 to 25 minutes to completely dry, um, which is pretty average. And you have to be super careful while you're waiting for it to dry because it can stain everything it touches. So the color this one produced will immediately look pretty dark because of the dark guide. The next morning I woke up and I was super dark. The guide on my body was super streaky though um, and I was a little worried that my tan would turn out uneven. Um, but once I showered it off, those streaks washed away but so did most of my tan. So when I was dark getting into the shower, when I got out, I was like a light to medium shade. I wish my tan would have been darker. I did use the dark shade but it just ended up being too light for my liking. It's too bad it wasn't darker because I liked the color, it was natural looking. I just wish it was like three shades darker and then it would have been, been nice. I did have a few splotchy areas, it might have been from the product dripping down my legs, but it wasn't anything super noticeable. Um, how long it lasted? My tan only lasted like two days before fading away. It didn't get too splotchy while fading away because the color wasn't very dark, but I wish my tan would have lasted longer. Men, if you're looking for a light tan, um, you may like this one. It's pretty average in my opinion. Um, the color is just too light for my liking and it gets pretty messy applying it, but it, doesn't, it does have the no smell, which, which is a good thing about this. So overall, I ended up giving this 2.5 out of 5 stars. For more information on this self-tanner as well as many others, please visit us online at selftanning.com and on Facebook and Twitter.